Beyonce, how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a review slash tour of the Louis Vuitton Grand Sac in the Eclipse Monogram. This is a beauty of a bag right here. Okay, before I jump in, I just wanted to bring your attention to the link and the information in the description of this video. It is my personal invitation to you to join my live luxury shopping events uh, that are online and my web store, everything else. All the links and information that you need are basically in the description, but I do multiple live sales every week. And then of course I have my website and my mobile app and I would love for you to be a part of my community. So please consider this my personal invitation to you to join my community. Okay, so anyway, let's jump back in. Okay, so anyway, you can see this is a beauty right here. Again, this is the Grand Sac uh, monogram Wait, yeah, Monogram Eclipse or Eclipse Monogram, whatever. This is one of my favorite actual monogram prints. I wish that they did more of the, uh, I mean, I know this is very common like in the men's line or unisex line or whatever, but I wish that they did other bags like, I don't know, the Artsy or even though I have a love-hate with the Neverfull, even the Neverfull or some other bags, the, the Graceful. I don't even know if they still, anyway, just some other bags that might be a little more uh, functional for me to use because um, this is just really more of a what am I trying to say utility bag I mean it could be a work bag it could be a travel bag it could be you know I guess if you're super bougie it could be a baby bag um, I did consider it for a hot second as a daily bag but you know the thing is is what it came down to is I can't really get it up over my shoulder it's not really a shoulder bag as you can see and sorry before I continue let me give you the measurements so at the bottom it's just short of, of 17 inches. It's like 16 and a half inches in length, okay? It is 13 inches tall, and then it's six inches deep, okay? And you can see that it's got the black leather accents on the bottom with the silver toned hardware. So you've got the black accent or leather accent on the sides. The rolled handles are the black leather, and then again, the bottom. And then you've got the bubbly feet Again, it is silver toned hardware, which I love. You, and this part here looks just like what you would see like on a keep all bag. And then this part's canvas and, and yeah. And so, you know, your carry options are limited. It's basically just going to be a hand carry, you know, um, which I mean, I'm gonna be honest because it does have this leather and this leather's thick too. Look, see, you can tell that it's just, it's thick leather. So because it has the leather accents on it and then, you know, coated canvas itself can tend to be a little heavy. Even when it's empty, it is a little little on the heavier side. So I guess I just want to point that out because if you wanted to use it as a work bag, uh, depending on what you're putting in it, you know, as far as books and, I don't know, binders and things like that, it might be a little too heavy. But you know what? Sometimes we suffer in the name of luxury, don't we all? Um, so there was something else. On oh, yeah. And it's also five inches here on the handle. Okay. So again, you've got your hand carry. You've got your crook of the arm carry. And that's really going to be it. Okay. There's no... Um, chaps, well, I'm sorry, it does have chaps. There's no tabs or any place for, you know, for you to add a strap. A lot of people will add a strap where it's not really meant to be, like on this hardware here. I say this in my live sales, and I think I've said it in other videos, I don't recommend that because I feel like it puts too much stress on all this. But you know what, you do you. If it makes you happy in your tummy, you go ahead. Or if you wanted to just take it to like a Leatherworks person, I know that they could install or, you know, not install, attach something either on the inside on opposite corners or on the outside or whatever so that you could actually add a strap because that is one of the things that I've, kind of the feedback that I've heard from some of my potential uh, shoppers is that they really like the bag, but they just wish that it had a shoulder carry option, you know, a strap or a crossbody. Well, not, this would be kind of bonky on a crossbody, but, you know, you could actually throw it over your shoulder. If, if it had that option, it would be okay and kind of a natural fit for that. But um, anyway, sorry, I thought somebody was sneaking in my studio. So, okay, you've got your rolled handles, you know, just like a key ball or speedy, okay? The inside is pretty cut and dry. It is the black, uh, like a textile material. It's not that hardy material that you see like on the inside of a, you know, keep all bag or speedy. It's just, it's like textile material here. Let me adjust this light, make sure you can actually see, okay. And so you've got your heat stamp back there and a pretty decent sized slip pocket. Okay, you got your information. This bag actually is available on my website and mobile app right now, but there's the identifying information. I wanna show you, because I do actually have a coordinating wallet that would be a perfect, with the silver hardware, that would be perfect. And so it is basically the, the 
traditional size of a full size zippy wallet. So I just wanted to show you that it would actually fit in this back pocket here, except that I need another, okay, there. Yeah, so see, it would fit side to side, just like that. And you could also stack another one on top of it. So here, let's just take this one. This is just, you can see a different print. We'll just pretend that it's the same, whatever. And we're just gonna, not that you need two full zippy wallets. Will you please freaking open? Golly. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. So just to kind of show you, oh yeah. So see, these pot, these two wallets actually lay side by side. So that's just to give you an idea of the size of this pocket, okay? Because there, as you can see, there is no main closure. There's no zipper, there's no latch, there's no magnetic snap, there's none of that, okay? so. If you want, if you're concerned about security, then this is a rather deep pocket. It would keep your items secure here. Now, for the best part, in my opinion, on the other side, you have this cool pouch. It's all canvas in the monogram and the monogram eclipse canvas pouch. It is removable. It snaps out. Okay. And so here's just the rest of the bag on the inside. So it's just, it literally is a black hole. Okay. And then you've got that detail on the sides. See how they sew it in? They do this on lots of bags. I actually have a Reed, what is it? It's not a GM. I like guess a Reed MM, and it, it's the same way. And then there's lots of bags where they do this. They kind of, the Wilshire, I think, is another one where they sew that in. It kind of creates that little uh, pleating right there. I think that's a nice touch. Okay, so let me show you this, this pouch here. This pouch is a generous pouch, you can see, <laughs> okay? I mean, like, if I wanted to wear it, okay. Let's just, I'm not going to give you the, well, here, I can't give you the measurements. I should have already had it out. Sorry, um, I also should have checked to see if it fits. Okay, so the pouch is 12 inches wide and a little over nine inches tall and it's envelope style, so there is no depth. So depending on the size of your iPad or your notebook or whatever, I mean, my iPad here is, here, I'll just measure it, is 10. So see, my iPad would fit, my, my iPad's 10 inches wide. And honestly, y'all, I don't really know how many different sizes there are in iPads. I really don't. I just, I have mine and that's all I know. But that, it definitely could fit your, your iPad. Well, actually, you know what? I say that. The zipper part. Okay, so the whole pouch itself is, what I say, 12. But the actual opening is, okay, it's 11. So, gosh, you know what? I would be interested. I should have checked it before I started the video to see if my iPad would fit. I'm gonna guess that it would because see, your opening is only 11 inches. But then again, my iPad is 10 inches. So yeah, I think that my, my iPad, um, iPad would fit. Now, this hardware here is more of a gunmetal, okay? The hardware that you see on the rest of the bag, actually, let me just double check it. Yeah, this, okay, so the, the rivets here and this hardware, it does seem a little more silver, okay? But the zipper on the pouch, it's an oversized, you know, LV zipper like this, and the and the zipper rail, they look to be like a gunmetal color. But you can see it's a big pouch, you know. It reminds me of the smaller pouch that I have. I actually use it. It's about half the size, and it came out of the Randoni sling, which is a vintage kind of backpack sling thing, and it also has a little pouch, and I like to use it because it saves space. It's not near as big as this. It's not going to fit an iPad. Like I said, it's more of a this size but anyway okay the inside of this you've got your your stamp in there and the silver foil and then it's that same hardy black textile material that's on the inside of the of the tote okay so you kind of have a couple of different options here you can keep this inside and use it for organization or if you wanted to take this out and use it you know just as a clutch or obviously whatever you choose and that is one kind of I love bags that have bonus bags, right? I mean, like that's just something that, I don't know, I really like that. So I'm gonna snap it back in here and these snaps are hardy on the inside. So I don't feel like it's gonna, you know, come undone easily if you load it up too much or whatever. So this, again, this is kind of how it looks. You can see that's hanging down. It only is secured by those top two snaps. Here's the other side. Let me try to mod shot it for you again. Um, so again, I mean, if you're a big bag gal, I mean, then this might be your jam. Again, I try, I mean, I considered it, but I was really wanting something that did have like a crossbody option. I go through seasons, like I never actually have purse piece, right? Like I go through different seasons. You know, I go through a tote season. Then I went through like a satchel with the, like a bando season. Like I just go through all sorts of little seasons. And so right now I'm not, I do, I still am sort of in a tote season, but an actual true tote that I can throw up over my shoulder. Cause you can see this isn't really, this doesn't even look natural, right? Like this is just not, 
But anyway, okay, so I hope that was helpful. Again, the Louis Vuitton Grand Sac uh, Eclipse Monogram or Monogram Eclipse, whatever. And um, just a nice unisex bag, multi-purpose bag, super swag, boss bag. Um, hope this was helpful. Again, don't forget about my invitation to join my online community, my mobile app, download my mobile app. And I hope to see you in one of my upcoming live luxury sales.